Okay, this is our assignment on PLDC. We are going to discuss about evolution of the major programming languages. These are the group members who help us to create this assignment. And first of all, I'll describe about little bit about history of programming language. This is a picture of the punch card. Uh, and hand coded machine language, assembly language programs, modern program languages. These are the some kind of program languages. And this is an analytical machine. This is invented by Charles Baggage in 1834. And this is never fully built machine. So it has some faults and some, uh, but uh, it has <coughs> something to develop. Uh, operation and variable from separate punch cards, conditional jumps accomplished machinery by physical jumping over band cards. Uh, and this is a picture of one new man. His architecture, uh, he created this in 1945. He is a very famous mathematician and he uh, rendered human service to the computer side. And computer in his design consists of a small CPU, larger main memory, bus, and single CPU architecture is still referred to as von Neumann machines. And <coughs> this is a program language generation. At, uh, as we can divide in too many parts, first generation to uh, second generation, third generation, like that. This is the first generation. This is a picture of uh, to uh, show uh, what's the uh, sort of the machine, real program code in binary. Actually, it will mainly depend on binary machine learning program language. But uh, this is fast and efficient, executing directly on the CPU because it is very close to the machine language. Uh, I mean, uh, consists only zero and ones and zeros. This is this is the way how we define binary code. Difficult for humans to read, write, and debug. This is the main disadvantage uh, through this language. Uh, okay, now I am discussing about second generation. It is early 1950s. Symbol is assembler, interpreted in round team, very early compilers. So. Uh, this is the way how it's developed step by step hardware machine language assembly language high level language Fortran, c pascal like that assembly languages simple numeric instructions so it's very easy to understand user assembly translates into the machine code but it's not very fast than the first generation languages this is the third generation mid 1950s and now then it means present High level general purpose, Fortran, LISP, COBOL, ALGOL, like this. If we consider some examples, we can say ADA, BASIC, C, C, Java, Tassel, Smalltalk, like that. Easier for humans to read and write, uh, and also to debug. Compile translate in the machine code before running. So it gets some time to uh, compile the program. And this is a fourth generation. It's 1970s. So as some examples for the fourth generation, SPSS, SQL, like that. These are specific languages. Uh, I mean, this is a query languages. And uh, it is, it is, uh, this like uh, these type these items are very commonly used among system engineers and the scientifics. And this is the fifth generation. 1980. Uh, this is very easy to solve problems using constraints rather than algorithms using artificial intelligence. In uh, scientists are very commonly used and <coughs> it is very useful to use this fifth generation languages like Prolog to develop the artificial uh, artificial intelligence. This is a family tree of languages. Fortran and it comes to algol and it divides to too many parts singular algol 68 algol uh, 68 c and c has two parts the pearl c plus plus like that uh, this, as it, this is a uh, language it is not popular but it has so many advantages lsp it uh, it is divided to four parts small talk is uh, has some advantage and we got in nowadays 
This is a case whose picture is language for expression compilation, but not published until 1972. At this period, many development of programming languages. He used actually arrays, records, assertion, algorithm for sorting, numerical computation, syntax analysis, and chess. Now, okay, now I am tell about little bit about pseudocodes. An alternative uh, to write a machine code during the 1940s and 1950s. Usually interpreted, not translated. Uh, actually, we consider as some examples short codes, speed coding, compass system, like this. Uh, but a user can easily understand pseudocode, but it's not like a program language, but we can identify all things uh, through pseudocodes. It is very easy to read. Okay, uh, this is an example for short code developed by John Martin for Vinac computers. It's intended in 1949. Later version for UAC 1 call this is also called automated programming. This is an example for company system. It's developed by Grace Hopper for UNIAC 1951 to 1953. Similar to the way micros are expanded into assembly language. This is a, about a program language called Fortran. In a debate for 1944, 54, sorry, by John Bakers. Actually, we consider the how the Fortran is generated and how create the Fortran name. It is a combination of formula translation and in 1950 as the first high level programming language it is also used scientific to uh, develop some mathematical uh, instruments like uh, it's used to uh, in developing the airplanes and uh, rockets like that <coughs> this is example for hello world uh, actually consider the impact for Convent for design Fortran 1, no need to dynamic storage, need good array handling, counting loops, features, uh, but about features not needed to implement this program is string handling, uh, decimal arithmetic, powerful input output. These are the recited in Fortran. The first implemented version of Fortran format input and output, user defined sub programs, uh, non data type in statements. These are some uh, disadvantages through the Fortran. Variables are 14 point type unless it starting with i, j, k, l, m, n like that. This example for the Fortran code is defined as do and 100 is a body and continuous. We actually, we can do is easily in modern while loop uh, do loop. But in early language, Fortran is very easy, but now it's not <coughs> used like that. We go, we use the instant of goal statement while for like that. This is the example for first implemented version of Fortran. No separate compilation, code was very fast, and Fortran quickly became widely used. Fortran 2. Actually, Fortran has uh, for four five types Fortran 1, 2, Fortran 5, like that. This is a Fortran 2, 1958. And uh, it actually in Fortran 2, it fixed many bugs, uh, not like a Fortran 1, it has some bugs, but in it, it also fixed in 1958 version Fortran 2. Independent compilation and longer programs are now possible, so uh, scientists can compile longer programs. Uh, and very hard programs. In Fortran 4, it's in 1960 to 1962. Logical if statement are shown in, I mean, uh, if statement begins from Fortran 4, it is still using. So it is a main advantage coming under the Fortran 4. And this started in 1966. And Fortran. Yeah. If then statements come under Fortran 
37. It is a name and it is invented in 1978. Character is train handling and but it has no baggage collection and logical loop control statement. In 1490, it's come uh, in 1990. It has many uh, modules like dynamic arrays, pointers, recursion, case statements. Very uh, useful things come under the 1490 because it's developed by uh, American engineers and it's a combination of engineers and scientific and parameter type check-in also come under the 490 this is a 49 evolution okay I'll tell about little bit about 49 evolution 